What? Are you kidding me? He made a pass during the straightaway? Seiji's in the lead, guys! <laughs> Damn, I knew it. Oh, man. Seiji's driving like himself now. He's got this in the bag. Yeah, that 8-6 is totally weak. For sure. And I know he may not look it, but Seiji has some serious skills. There's no way he'll lose now. <laughs> Dumbass! <laughs> I will give Seiji some credit. He's mastered driving his Lan Evo at full speed. He also knows that a four-wheel drive has to enter a corner at top speed in order to successfully complete a drift. During the drift itself, you can only control the car by steering while the gas pedal is slammed into the floor. You'll fishtail if you try to control the drift by only manipulating the gas pedal, like you would in an FR. Full acceleration is the only way to drift in a four-wheel drive. That's the most difficult aspect of racing in a four-wheel drive. No one with just mediocre skills can handle a car at full speed through a drift. But once you're able to master the technique, you can turn any corner you come up on at ridiculously high speeds. I guess Seiji does have what it takes to knock this kid out. But why am I feeling so on edge? Enter at top speed and turn with full acceleration. It's a completely different maneuver than the slow-ass crab turn the 8.6 has to do. Now watch and learn. But I guess he'd have to be somewhat close to see it with his own eyes. I doubt he's anywhere near me. I wonder if he's given up. What the hell? I don't get it. He's right on my ass. How is that possible? How is he able to keep up with my drift? He's better than I thought. Huh. Now this is a race. there because he was stopping me from the speeds I wanted on the straightaways. I think I knew what was bothering me back when I was following him, but for some reason I kept ignoring it. I hate to admit it, but it's true. Damn it. I'm just not as fast in the corners as he is. So far, I've managed to keep up with his pace. There's one other thing, too. The straightaways here are shorter than normal, so the separation in power between us doesn't make much difference. But just wait. We're coming up on the high speed section, and once we do, I'm gonna blow this 8-6 out of the water. They're about to see some magic. This long straightaway comes a hairpin turn. I'll be at full throttle, ready to make my move, and the rest will be history. Here it comes. I'm gonna outrace this kid with my technique alone. I don't need the power of my car to win. Holy crap, he's really fast. Fastest I've ever gone up against. It's been a while. 
They should be here any minute. <gasps> Look, here they come! The Lan Evo's in the lead. He's coming in fast. This is the best seat in the house. Aki has five hairpins. Man, what incredible power. Yeah, it's just like a World Rally Championship car. I can't believe how far behind the 8.6 is. I've seen almost all his races, and he's never had this much ground to make up going into hairpins. Who knows? Maybe the 8.6 won't be able to pull off a win this time. His car is totally inferior. There he is! It's time to start using the ditch. Yeah, I know. How did he turn so fast? Did you see that? Punta's son was behind the wheel of that car. Uh, you're kidding me, right? I mean, damn, if I didn't know any better, I would have assumed that it was Punta steering through that corner. Just the sound alone shows the kind of talent that kid really has. I swear he had to have really been flooring the pedal throughout most of that drift. I've never seen a teenager with that caliber of skills under his belt. Well, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Yeah, but... That sort of aggressive driving can tear an engine to pieces almost as if it were paper. Damn, these turns are a bitch! I may have lost some time, but not enough to make a difference. I don't care what kind of car you're in. Anyone would lose speed on these turns. Now that I have such a huge lead, it should be smooth sailing all the way till the end. What the... No way. You gotta be kidding me. What the hell happened? I can't believe it. I can't even shake off an 8-6. With all my power and technique, this race should be over already. You bastard! I'm not gonna let you pass me! I should be here soon. So I wonder which one's gonna be in the lead. Man, Milan Evo or H6? Case King, you said that if the Lan Evo is in the lead, then he'll end up losing the race, but how can you be so sure? That's easy. From my own personal experience, no matter what you do, he won't let you run away with the lead. He sticks to your bumper like super glue. If you let him get to you and start relying on power, then your tires will start to lose air pressure. I can't get this punk off my ass! The key here is how to use the tires to your greatest advantage. Anyone who jumps into the lead without knowing that will lose. My front tires are losing pressure. This race is pissing me off. I can't stay focused. Don't panic, though. There's no need to freak out. I can win this as long as I keep my lead. I'm in a better position than him anyway. No matter how fast he is in the turns, he still can't get enough speed to pass me when we're out of him. Once we hit the last straightaway, I'm home free. Ah. I was right. Ditching Simulation 3 and taking the lead back there was the right move. I've won this race, Kyuichi.